the people that we that we have grown to love so much. Uh, Jeff and Nicole Lowe, uh, I don't know how many of you have gotten to know them yet, but they're a wonderful couple um, who have been a part of uh, our connect group now for a little bit and, and come into church and just have grown to love them so much. And um, so they both want to make the decision to, uh, to follow Christ in baptism today. And uh, so, yes, so let's, uh, this is a, a joyful occasion and you're welcome to, to shout and clap and jump on down. <laughs> um, so Jeff, uh, would you like to, you said you wanted to share a couple of words about why you made this decision today, so. Sure thing, Pastor Chris asked me to make this concise. So <laughs> back in 1970, <laughs> Yeah. In my younger years, I made a lot of bad decisions, a lot of mistakes, and a lot of errors. And I've been carrying a lot of regrets for many, many years. Well, I'm very happy to say that today I will bury all those regrets. Yes. As I begin my life, my life anew, together, and united with God and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. 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 What, an awesome, what an awesome testimony uh, that is. You know, the scriptures speak of, of baptism as a death, burial, and resurrection. So basically, the, the baptism is something in which we are symbolically dying to ourselves and rising back up to a new life. Um, so the scriptures talk about how we're, we're buried with Christ in baptism and that we're raised with him to walk in a new life. And when you think about the symbolism of that, you know, when you get in the water, you're you're, you're still breathing, but when you're laid back under the water, you stop breathing, right? And it's kind of, so it's, it's, it's a symbolic thing that you're like, like, like your, your old self and all of the, the things that, that was against God's will and your, and your, and your self will, all that's being just buried with him there. Then you are raised back out of the water. And the first thing you do is you take that breath, that first breath in a new life um, of a life that's covered in God's grace. And so, uh, Jeff, I'm so excited to, uh, to get to do this with you and also with you, Nicole. So, um, Jeff, if you'd like to go ahead and step in here. Right. And we might just go over the edge here tonight. Yeah, yeah really? That'll be okay. All right. Jeff, uh, it's your faith that saves you. And I just want to ask you, as was done in the early church, to confess your faith. If you would just repeat after me, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I have surrendered my life to him. I have surrendered my life to him. And commit to following him the rest of my life. And commit to following him for the rest of my life. Amen. On the basis of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Again, on the basis of your faith in Jesus Christ, you stand holy and acceptable to God. So I want to ask you to confess your faith. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I have surrendered my life to him. I have surrendered my life to him. And commit to follow him all my days. And commit to following him all my days. So on the basis of your faith, I now baptize you in the name of the Father the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. 
that are so open to, to what you are doing in their lives, the, the, the gift of grace and salvation you have given them through Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you for their willingness to obey you, Jesus, and demonstrate this faith in baptism today. God, may they always know that you walk with them every day and that we also walk beside them and we're here for them, God. May we be uh, the family that you want us to be to them, God. And, and may we help draw out the gifts and, and the abilities that you have placed in these two wonderful individuals, God, uh, that you want to use to bring beauty and, and, and help uh, make the, the gospel of Christ be the beautiful thing that it is in this community. We pray in Jesus' name, and we all say, Amen. 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 